Anne and George Boleyn were siblings who played key roles in the court of King Henry VIII during the 16th century. Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, was a vocal supporter of the English Reformation and used her influence with Henry to push for the establishment of the Church of England. Her advocacy for the English Reformation and her ambition for power put her at odds with many powerful figures in the English court. George Boleyn was also a strong supporter of the English Reformation and rose to become the Lord Rochford and a member of King Henry VIII's Privy Council. He was known for his wit, charm, and intelligence, and was a popular figure in court. George and Anne were known to be close and had a strong sibling bond. However, both George and Anne's fortunes took a dark turn when Anne fell from favour and was accused of treason and adultery in 1536. George was also accused of similar crimes and was arrested along with Anne and several others. He was put on trial, found guilty, and executed on May 17, 1536, just two days before Anne was also executed. The exact nature of George and Anne's relationship has been the subject of much speculation and debate over the centuries. Some historians have suggested that they were romantically involved or engaged in an incestuous relationship, although there is no concrete evidence to support these claims. It is also unclear whether George was involved in the alleged crimes for which he was executed, or if he was simply a victim of the political machinations of the time. Despite their tragic ends, both Anne and George Boleyn remain fascinating figures in Tudor history. Their support for the English Reformation and their complex relationships with King Henry VIII and each other continue to capture the imaginations of scholars and the public alike. In addition to being a prominent courtier and supporter of the English Reformation, George Boleyn was also a talented poet and writer. He was known to have written poetry in both English and Latin, and his works were well regarded in his time. His most famous work is probably the poem, O oh Death, Rock Me Asleep, which he wrote while imprisoned in the Tower of London. George was also a skilled musician and was known to be able to play several instruments, including the lute and the viola. His musical talent was admired by his contemporaries and was said to add to his charm and popularity at court. Despite his many talents and accomplishments, George's legacy has been somewhat overshadowed by his association with his sister Anne and their tragic ends. However, recent scholarship has begun to shed more light on George as an individual and to recognize his contributions to Tudor culture and society. Overall, George Boleyn was a complex and multifaceted figure who played an important role in the political and cultural life of 16th century England. His intelligence, charm, and talent continue to fascinate and inspire scholars and history enthusiasts today. George and Anne Boleyn's deaths were both tragic and controversial. They were both accused of treason and adultery, and their trials were widely seen as being politically motivated. Many historians believe that King Henry VIII wanted to get rid of Anne because she had failed to produce a male heir and he had fallen in love with another woman, Jane Seymour. The exact nature of the accusations against George and Anne is still a matter of debate among historians. Some believe that they were falsely accused and that the charges were trumped up in order to remove them from power. Others believe that there may have been some truth to the accusations, although the evidence presented at their trials was likely exaggerated or fabricated. Regardless of the truth of the accusations, both George and Anne were found guilty and sentenced to death. George was executed on May 17, 1536, by beheading on Tower Hill in London. He was said to have met his death with courage and dignity, reciting the Latin prayers for the dead as he was led to the scaffold.
and was executed just two days later, on May 19, 1536, also by beheading on Tower Green within the walls of the Tower of London. Her execution was carried out by a swordsman rather than an axeman, which was considered a more merciful method of execution, and was also said to have faced her death with courage and dignity, delivering a powerful final speech in which she proclaimed her innocence and her love for the king. Despite their controversial deaths, both George and Anne Boleyn have gone down in history as figures who were willing to stand up for what they believed in, even in the face of persecution and death. Their courage and determination continue to inspire people today.